Welcome back, everyone. We're zooming around the county, and today we're talking with Heather Guerreri from Compass Regional Hospice, who's celebrating a big milestone this year. Hi, Heather. Hi. Thank you for having me on this morning. Um, in our new day and age of our uh, pandemic, we're still being able to connect via Zoom, and I appreciate that and the TV station for doing so. Yeah, yes, we at Compass Regional Hospice are celebrating our 35th anniversary from afar a bit, but um, we are still in the community and going strong. We are still serving Queen Anne's, Kent, and Caroline counties. That's wonderful. So I know you guys are still going on. Are you guys taking any precautions as all this stuff is happening? Absolutely. Um, since the COVID-19 pandemic started in other states, um, our organization started implementing the CDC and WHO guidelines very early on to make sure that we not only protected our staff, but our patients and also the community at large. So we've implemented things of utilizing PPE or pr protective personal equipment, uh, masks, gloves, and gowns, um, not to ensure that patients aren't exposed and, and nor are our staff members exposed um, to the virus. We, we've done an amazing job. I have to give kudos to our staff. Um, we have not had anybody exposed or positive to COVID-19 thus far during this um, incident, um, and nor have we had any patients currently on service um, that have come back positive for COVID. Well, that's wonderful news. Mm -hmm. And speaking of the, the gloves and the masks, how are you guys doing on supplies? Well, that has been a challenge as it has been around the country. Obviously, we've all heard a lot about that on the news. Um, Unfortunately, companies started price gouging everyone um, in order to get our supplies. We're having to pay a lot more monies for them, uh, but we are in good supply. Uh, the health departments in the counties have helped us out uh, by getting some, as well as us going through um, our vendors and then vendors that we have found online. So we feel very confident that we have a, uh, a great amount, but you never know how this is going to play out. You know, there really hasn't been a surge of COVID-19 um, cases here on the Eastern Shore as of yet. So it's kind of like we're just holding our breaths every day to see maybe how bad it will get or how many exposures there will be. And if that does happen, then a PPE will go quickly. Sure. We've also had amazing response from our community uh, making homemade masks. We've had volunteers doing so. We've had just donors or just people in the community that have reached out and said, I'm going to make them out of leggings that I have. Um, so we certainly wouldn't use that type of PPE if we were going into an exposed home for our clinical staff. But our office staff and everybody else who has to kind of go in um, sometimes are utilizing those type of staff masks to make sure that we don't use up our, um, our clinical supply of masks. That's great. So people are helping out in that way. Is there any other way that people can help out right now? Absolutely. Um, you know, certainly we are a nonprofit. Um, this has been a financial drain on our organization as well as we have had to pay for so many more supplies. Um, do some things remotely. A lot of us are working from home most of the time to decrease the amount of people in our office space to decrease exposure. So therefore there was technology that needed to be purchased, um, enhancements and things of that nature. So I just asked the community not to forget about Compass Regional Hospice through this. We are out there serving our community. We haven't stopped. Um, and hence our fundraising can't stop. Um, so we appreciate any donation that anybody can give us um, in, in this difficult and challenging time. Of course. I know one of the biggest things is that you have so many volunteers that are helping as well. And this mm -hmm. is a big month to celebrate those volunteers, right? Absolutely. We have nearly 300 volunteers um, that help us on a day-by-day -day basis. They put in about more than 21,000 hours a year. Right now, we are not utilizing our volunteers because we are protecting them from this virus. So we have, we're, we're getting on the, a phone conversations with them. They're, we're doing, you know, conference calls to make sure that they stay connected to us. Um, but we don't want to expose them to any unnecessary harm. We can't wait till we get back to normalcy and we can use our volunteers again. That's but right. we celebrate them this month as it is National Volunteer Month. Yeah. And if people are, are hoping to get involved after this is over and you open up to volunteers again, how can they do that? 
Uh, they can just give our office a call at 443-262-4100 or go on our website at www.compassregionalhospice.org and look for or ask about our volunteer opportunities. We have so many. You know, our state treasurer's resale shop has unfortunately now been closed for over a month in Kent Town Market. That has a lot of volunteers that support that operation on a day-to-day -day basis. We're always in need of that support, as well as patient care volunteers, administrative volunteers, and help with our fundraising. Great. Well, I'm so happy to hear that things are going uh, very healthy and very safe for you guys. Mm -hmm. I can't wait for this all to be over so you can open back up and you have your volunteers and you can start getting back to a normal path. Would you like to say anything else to the community, say a goodbye and thank them for anything before yes, we uh, head I, out? Yes, I just want to um, say how humbled I am by the support that the community has always given to Compass Regional Hospice throughout the years. And I want you to know that we are here for you, not only as your hospice provider, um, but for any type of loss, um, any emotional support that may be needed. Um, and we're not going anywhere and we're going to um, maintain our um, community support and um, be there as a nonprofit organization. And I just can't thank everybody enough for continually to support us. Great. And we can't thank you enough. So thanks for stopping by again, Heather. Thank you for having me. Yeah, have course. a good day. And we'll let you get back to work because I know you have a lot to do. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Take care. Of course. So a special thanks to Heather Gray from Columbus Regional Hospice. Please check them out. Go to their website to get more information and find out how maybe you can help. Until next time, we're resuming around the county. Thanks for watching.